what's up guys so yeah uh, we're gonna talk about uh, can anyone take great photos so what is a great photo I mean I think uh, I think a great photo and let's let's determine that first is something that just makes you go wow you know you you look at it and you can't stop looking at it and something that just you just want to look at for an hour or two hours or whatever you know you you you're just like wow you can't take your eyes off of it it's it's a great photo so can anyone take great photos yes i think anyone can take great photos i don't think that uh you were born with this natural ability to take great photos um i think uh, with time is the big thing um with time you can definitely um become better and better and better i mean with anything time is gonna uh, help you become better as a photographer um, I've in the last four years I've taken over four over 10,000 sorry four years for 10,000 I've taken over 10,000 photos in the last four years now has every photo been great no absolutely not I've uh, probably out of 10,000 photos, I would say maybe, uh, maybe 5% of them, maybe, nah, I wouldn't even say 5%, um, probably less than that, you know, that were great photos, those ones that you just want to, you know, look out forever, because they look amazing, um, but do you have to have equipment, um, to, take great photos no you don't I mean, if you got a smartphone you can take a great photo um, and you can continue to practice taking great photos with a smartphone um, the camera that I've got right now that is video on this um, which I've gotten another one since but anyways this particular camera is a EOS 80D Canon and it, it was a kit lens so I mean it was a kit camera kit lens uh, it had two lenses in it with a case and all that so and I got it I got it for a little less than five hundred dollars so I mean and I've gotten some dang good photos out of just that I mean there's one back here of the lighthouse which I'll post it I'll post it in this video or uh, probably towards the end it's a lighthouse uh, in um, Iceland that we took, or that I took, and then uh, I I got another one. Like as soon as I got this camera, we went to Florida, and I got one on a park of a little walking bridge, and I'll post it as well um, in here. But I'm just saying. I mean, there you don't have to have the equipment. Um, it doesn't have to be a three thousand dollar camera and lens and all that. It doesn't have to be that. the The main thing is, you know, getting out there and trying, getting out there and putting yourself in that situation um, to catch that uh, that perfect click of the camera, you know. And uh, I think your eye is going to uh, look for things uh, once you once you find that one thing or that one perfect picture that you took then of course your eye is going to get better and better with time to take even more pictures so and then uh, well, after that uh, passion I mean, if you have a passion for it um, if you're happy Every time that uh, you get into any kind of location or if you're in your studio like I am right now, um, then, and you get excited about taking photos, then hey, you're, you're, you're going to take some great photos in just a matter of time. Uh, just keep trying, keep, uh, keep putting yourself out there and you will you will get there no doubt um determine 
determination is another one um and I'm, I'm looking at notes here i'm just <laughs> making sure i stay on track because i i tend to ramble sometimes but anyways determination uh once you have your passion your joy then just stay determined to get that great shot to continue to take great photos and uh you'll you'll eventually get there i mean it's simple as that i mean continue to watch youtube continue to learn um continue to take inspiration from others i still do that and i still I'll, I'll always do that i don't think you'll ever can you'll ever stop learning um anything especially when it's technology i mean technology is changing every day so um so determination just stay on track continue uh I got burned out there for a little bit because I was doing way too much. I was doing YouTube uh, photography and then trying to edit all my videos by myself. Uh, I couldn't do all of it at one time and I I got burned out completely and uh, <laughs> ended up not taking many photos for like three or four months there. And now I'm back and taking photos again and getting into it again. Um, I'm going to get into wildlife photography and hey, um, I'm taking those photos every day, um, or at least trying to every day, but you know, I'm, I'm behind the camera as much as I possibly can to get better at wildlife photography and, uh, hey, it'll, it'll happen. You just, uh, you got to stick with it and you got to stay with it and, uh, it will happen. So I'm going to close with, uh, just no matter you know no matter your age no matter how young you are no matter how old you are if if you like taking pictures get out there and do it i mean that's that's all it takes it just takes time time behind the camera whether that's an actual camera or a phone that you're you know in the camera mode then get out there and do it you know try if you if if you just try that's that's the main thing is trying so hopefully hopefully you enjoyed this video um hopefully you enjoyed the photography that i put up at the beginning of the video and then if you'll stick around i'll put up some more of uh what i think is great photos and you know it's always uh one's opinion of uh how good the photo is take a look at mine and uh Hopefully it inspires you to get out there and take some more great photos. And if you have any questions or uh, anything of that sort, give me a comment. And please hit that like button and hit the uh, subscribe button too. That would be great. Thank you guys. Y'all have a good night. We will see you in the next video.